Growing up in the early 2000s, and by the time I got my first Xbox 360, Ubisoft was an absolute titan in the gaming industry. If you've played a video game, it's likely that you've played a Ubisoft game. And growing up, I was a huge fan of Assassin's Creed. They were dropping banger after banger in this era. They had my fat 12-year-old ass running up and down playgrounds with my hood on, thinking I was some sort of assassin parkour legend, even though I could barely do a singular pull-up. Not only that, but they were still dropping great games up until the time I was about 17 years old and in high school. That's when things started to drastically change. And even then, there was still some good sprinkled throughout their company. They had games like For Honor, which I still think is incredibly innovative, but every time I try to go back and play it, it's the most toxic place on earth. All the Tom Clancy games, that, that includes Rainbow Six Siege, which still is very well and alive today, and not to mention all of the Far Cry games. But ever since Assassin's Creed Odyssey, things have changed drastically. <laughs> First, I'm going to tackle Assassin's Creed, and oh boy, that's a task. Growing up, Assassin's Creed was the coolest shit ever made. Running around, climbing buildings, jumping off them on top of people, assassinating them, it was awesome. Especially for a child. <laughs> and as a kid with an interest in history, they were constantly nailing my favorite settings. And when I heard they were dropping an ancient Greek game, I was stoked. And for about the first 20 hours, I was fully immersed and I was loving the game. And then this happened. Just going along, enjoying the game, enjoying the story. And all of a sudden, I am locked out of doing the main quest because I'm not a high enough level. And not only that, I was no longer allowed to assassinate people because my little damage number wasn't high enough. I think this game would have been far better off if it had the name Assassin's Creed completely stripped from it. But to me, this game signaled the decline that we are seeing from Ubisoft today. After being slightly disappointed with Odyssey, I still got about 50 hours out of it, and I did enjoy the setting, the graphics, the ambiance, all of that was there, and I thought it was pretty cool. But after doing the same little monotonous collectible tasks fucking 50 times over, I said, you know what, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. And then... The trailer for Assassin's Creed Valhalla drops, and I nearly creamed my pants. Odin is with us! I'm a huge fan of Norse mythology and Vikings and stuff like that. Like I said, I love history. And I don't know how, but they somehow made Viking assassins not cool. At first, I was like, oh my god, I'm raiding a village, this is so awesome. And then you realize after the 10th time you've done it that it's the same exact, it's just copy and paste. It's the same thing over and over again. Again, the graphics and the setting looked so good. All of the character models looked solid for the most part, <laughs> other than human faces. And then you zoom out and you see how big this open world is. If you don't have a job, this game is for you because it takes so much time to do anything in this game. And after doing some research, I discovered that this game was worked on by 137 different teams of people. How in God's name are you going to have any continuity in your game when there's not one person who has seen everything that's even in it? And I think this just comes down to Ubisoft being too big of a company for its own good. If you look at the recent games that have dropped and have sort of exploded, most of them are $40 titles that are from a smaller studio. And I think that's a really good sign of change that is needed for the gaming industry. Ironically enough, Assassin's Creed Origins was the game that they sort of changed the way things work and turned it into sort of a, an RPG adventure game with, you know, gear and custom stats that weren't previous in many Assassin's Creed games. The story of the old Assassin's Creed games made sense, enough for a child to understand it, though I never really enjoyed playing as a human in Assassin's Creed that in present day, I thought that was just a waste of time. I was like, get me back in the Animus, I ain't leaving. But all of a sudden, since Assassin's Creed Odyssey, there's 
different gods involved and characters that you've seen the whole game are just gods. The character you play as in Valhalla is Odin, I guess. I don't understand it either. Like, I just simply can't, I just don't get it. I don't know. And this is coming from a game series that removed the crossbow originally for historical accuracy. And they did a similar thing with For Honor, which really bothered me. When the game dropped, all the executions were brutal and somewhat realistic. And then they added these anime spirit bombs, like getting your head chopped off wasn't cool enough already. Like just losing that realism factor sort of harms the game if you ask me. <laughs> And now with the current game, uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage, you play as Loki, but he's not Loki yet. I don't understand the story at all anymore. But I have another complaint, is they add this teleportation thing where you can just basically teleport to an enemy and one-shot them. And that just takes all the fun out of the game because you're not actually doing anything. You're just looking at someone, pressing circle, looking at the next guy, pressing circle, and they just die. And there's just no, there's no fun in that at all. And to a game that cl they claimed was going back to the Assassin's Creed roots, it's just simply not. <laughs> yes, they shrunk the map down, but there's still all these meaningless collectibles, meaningless bullshit that you have to do, and the story is just mind-numbing. And it really sucks, because I loved this franchise growing up, and a lot of the other Ubisoft games. And with their new titles, like Skull and Bones just being an absolute fucking disaster. I watched a video of someone comparing Black Flag to this game, and Black Flag looks and plays better than a game that just dropped, like, last week. Like, what? Like, in Black Flag, when you're hunting whales, you harpoon it, and it pulls you around, and it was very immersive. And in this game, you just, like, basically hold the trigger down and shoot cannons, like... Dude, if you want to play a pirate game, go play Sea of Thieves, because this is dog shit. Or even go play Black Flag again, because at least you can board ships in this pirate game, unlike their new quadruple A game. You can't do the most fun part about being a pirate in the pirate game? What? To claim that this is the first quadruple A game and then to release this is fucking comical. And that leads me to my next point. Which is, they make all of these live service games that have no real ending and you could theoretically play it forever. And it works out for them in the past, like Rainbow Six Siege is still thriving today. But you make all these live service games and then slowly pull developers off the teams that are running them to make new games and then the old games just suffer for it. You still have dedicated fan bases of all of these beloved games of yours, but you're depriving them of the resources to keep them playing, so eventually they also die. The future of Ubisoft essentially lies with the next couple of releases, if you ask me. I don't know that they'll go bankrupt, but I think it could be the beginning of the end, seeing as their last, like, eight titles have flopped. It's probably more than that, but oh well. But they have some huge releases coming up, with Star Wars Outlaws, which is one of the most ambitious projects we've ever seen, and X Defiant, which could be a contender for Call of Duty if it's good. I watched a ton of people play the beta and it looked really fun and snappy, but all we can do is really hope for the best. And I think the gaming industry is better when Ubisoft is good and is in a contender, but with the current climate of things, who knows, that might change because, like I said earlier, AAA games are being contended by teams of fucking people in the tens. I mean, Valheim has five developers that made it five and it's a better optimized game than any ubisoft game i've played in the last decade and i think the future of the gaming industry is going to lie with those small teams of developers who can work in continuity and create a game out of passion amongst themselves as opposed to a huge company with a game being passed around like a tavern whore but I think their concept for Star Wars Outlaws is really cool, and I hope they nail it, because I would want to play that game that they, they pitched to me. To be in an open world Star Wars universe with different planets you can explore. I hope it's not filled with fucking absolute junk like all their other open world games. Now, for my final thought, the Assassin's Creed teams, 
I'm looking at you guys. This is you are the backbone of this fucking whole company. Please get it together. You made Vikings not cool. You made Spartans not cool. You made ancient Baghdad not cool. Now if you somehow make ancient samurai not cool, I'm going to have a conniption. And I'm going to walk up to Ubisoft Quebec, which is really a long walk for me. And I'm going to have a stern talking to all of you motherfuckers up there. <laughs> I think I'm starting to lose my mind talking about Ubisoft for this long. So I think, I think I'm going to stop right there. But uh, thank you guys for watching and subscribe for more. <laughs>